Hey everybody, this is Tanner, Mr. Cricket Crazy, coming at you with another video, and I'm using my Martha Stewart mat, and I'm making a card from the Cricut Light Lip Simply cartridge, that's a great cartridge, and I've got my stuff together right here, I'm using a stamp from one of my favorite stamp sets, it's not my favorite, but used to be my favorite stamp set, um, it's just this one, uh, from Paper Tray Ink volume one number one and it just has a lot of different sayings and this says take care so I'll be stamping that here in a little bit and I'm making this nice little caterpillar and get all the parts for it it's the only thing I hate about this mat is all your stuff gets stuck to it so I'm gonna get out my zig and this is a card that is like I, I thought of it in like five minutes and I cut everything out in like five minutes. So this card is going to be super duper easy and fun also. I always want to make everything fun because don't do, don't do it if it's not fun. Like if you're doing an order for somebody, I do orders for a lot of people. If I didn't do orders, I would probably do a lot more videos. But, um, I don't do orders. I tell them either A, I can't do it or they'll have to give me some time because I can't have fun doing it. So, they they kind of get a little mad, but they understand. At least they say they do. And I don't, I'm not like that a lot, so. But with like some cards, everybody wants it so detailed, and I don't think that they should have it like that. And I just can't do it. But, like I'm saying, if you want to do the card, do it. But if you don't, please don't. Because that, like, ruins everything. And I'm just gluing this together real easy. Real easy, easy. With some zig. Zig. Zig, zig. Zig, zig. Zig, zig. Some zig. Zig to a glue. And it works really good. And I'm just go. Maybe this will stay down. Just go press down. On this. And I'm using chocolate chip. This layer. Where I'm pointing at. And just some green. And some red. I'm using crushed curry and Bermuda beet glue. Bermuda blue. I drop that. This card is super duper easy. If you do it right. Which I know you all will because you all are like amazing compared to me. I'm not that good. And when you get your hands sticky, I just wipe it off with a baby wipe. You all don't really see me do that. And how I clean this mat is I wipe it off with a baby wipe. So you might want to have some baby wipes on hand when you're a card maker. So I'm going to put this card together after I glued this together. I should, I'm should i going to start gluing stuff together before I do the video, unless it's real complicated. And I'm just going to use my ATG gun to put this Bermuda Blue on the Crush Curry A2 size card. And I'm doing a small piece. I'm doing a big enough piece so this can fit on it. So as you see, it like this. I'm going to get out some Stampin' Dimensionals. No, actually, I use Stampin' Dimensionals a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm going to use some Pop Dots by Hobby Lobby. Because I need a dimension. Pretty big thing. So it's okay if you don't use your dimensionals every single time. I don't. Not every single time. But a lot. I do use them quite a bit. Okay. To tell you the truth, I use them all the time. And I'm going to just stick that right there. And if anybody watched my haul, you would see I got some of these in one of my hauls. And I got some bling. And I promised you I'd do a card with some bling. So you can see how you like it before you decide if you want to do a giveaway. 
Turn out everybody wants to do a giveaway. So, I'm opening this, which I should have opened before I started the video, which I did not do again. I'm prepared, I think, but then I'm not prepared, if that makes sense. And after I take them out of this packaging, I'm probably going to put them in Ziploc bags. So, I took this off, and there's this nice little caterpillar. I mean, ladybug I'm going to put on there. And it's a little bit dimension, but not too much. But that's okay. I'm not going to really worry about that. And there's that. And let's get out. You know, I've got these two packs of bling. So, I need you all to decide. I'm going to use the red ones. And these are $3 at Hobby Lobby. These are made by EK Success. And I'm just sticking them everywhere. Stick some more here. And I just stuck those there. And I'm going to use some Bermuda Bay Classic Ink from my favorite place to buy ink, paper, and stamps. Of course, Stampin' Up! Um, if you live near me and your demonstrator is Mary Pack, she is a really nice lady. I've never met her before, but she's really nice, I know, from me emailing and talking to her. And this this right here looks a little glossy, don't you think? Let's see if it shows up on there. Okay, but it doesn't really show up, but all I done was put zig on this side and it's not sticky it's a little sticky but it makes it look feel like leaves and you won't believe this i came up with this all by myself so you need to try that out and it works pretty good and i um thank you i don't have my computer right beside me to tell the username but thank you, whoever you are. I, I know I've watched your videos, but um, I forgot your username. Um, thank you, the lady that emailed me about the digital stamps. And from what I understand, digital stamps are pretty much things off the internet that you print out on your computer. So I'm not really interested in that. I like... I like taking the stamp and stamping it, even though I have to wait a few days to get it. And I will be doing another haul as soon as my stamping up order is here. You know what? I'm going to distress this. Just to give it a older, distressed look. And note to self, if you're going to do this on your card, do it before the video. Or, I mean, do it before you put the bling on and everything. And I could have did this in Bermuda Bay, but I wanted to use some of my Tim Holtz. And it, it depends on what your style is. I, like I can make it more distressed than other parts. And there's that. And you know, since it's the front of the card, I should have did it on the back side. But, you know, this is the front side. So, I'll probably put this card on my shelf because I really like it. And this is your finished product. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I hope that you make this card and give it to somebody that maybe be, might be a little older. And they're not sick, but that you want them to take care. It's a great video for that. So, I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching Mr. Cricket Crazy. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Happy stamping.